What up, Geekdom? This is Shimok. We are doing a non-spoiler review on Planet of the Apes. Yeah, I had watched it this uh, past weekend. Uh, I know with my reviews, they tend to come out after the weekend, but it also gives time, I guess, for people that already have watched it. But I try still not to give any spoilers, just in case if you're iffy on trying to see the movie or not. I thought it was a fun film. Um, it is lengthy, but it wasn't. It wasn't bad. It was enjoyable. We are introduced to new characters and some interesting ideas and takes of how they're going about with the story. But yeah, I definitely say it's something you should watch. I enjoyed it enough. It wasn't. It wasn't bad. I think it deserves its uh, percentage on Rotten Tomatoes. It is a good, uh, an interesting film. Um, it, it has some stuff that I was confused about, but um, out of the things I did like about this film. Um, which I uh, the quick talk about it. You have uh, as far as what the trailers and stuff would show a new ape that we follow. His name is Noah, and he ends up having his clan taken, and he goes to try to save his clan from uh, this ape called Proximus Caesar, and he meets a human along the way who um, is different than the other humans, and yeah, basically. They try to stop uh, Proximus Caesar in his new kingdom that he uh, takes other clans and stuff. He built his whole, whole kingdom on taking different ape clans. But, yeah, there's uh, so there's some stuff um, that I really did like about the film. I like a lot of the callbacks uh, after re-watching Planet of the Apes. Because it's been a long time since I've watched all the like old films. And rewatching some of the old films and uh, rewatching this whole uh, the first trilogy for Planet of the Apes again, I like a lot of the callbacks. This the they do a lot of the symbols like the window symbol from the uh, the first movie um, that was used in this film. I like the ideology of things that happened in the past. We tend to change the meaning of because it's so true. Because we do it nowadays all the time to where it's like what people originally did or what they originally thought has been changed because of what we think they meant and we change our ideology around what we think they meant to fit what you know we have going on in society now and that's used in both uh this new orangutan that we see and also with proxima caesar because he changes a uh, caesar's uh, ideology and stuff but I like the the names and stuff uh, as far as just characters and how they were used in the older films um, I'm trying my best not to I, I don't know if they like spoilers spoilers as I was like I'm trying to tiptoe my stuff around but like whose name is what but uh, some of the characters names were used in some of the older films and I like I like that they do those type of callbacks I think they they do they did an excellent job with that. I like those callbacks and stuff after watch, rewatching the movies and stuff, and I go, hey, you do the Leonardo DiCaprio meme. Whoop, whoop. But um, yeah, it's it was pretty pretty much a fun fun film. The humans that I feel like they should have uh, touched on, especially the girl that they uh, have follow. If you look at the differences in the trailer between the girl that jumps, uh, the the main character Noah is uh, with in the trailers she's dressed and looks different than the humans you see this running in that um in the trailer you know there's an um that she comes from especially this being years and years later like this has been hundreds of years later so the fact that she is still have like clothes and looks of a regular human and not primitive is is very interesting but it, they didn't go deep into her people and where she exactly came from. And I wish they would have dipped into that a little bit. Weren't in. We know in the past movies that there was a lot more people, especially people who weren't affected by the virus. But I would still like to know exactly where she had came from and how they thrive still for years and years later even though they were subjected to the virus and stuff so if all of them were immune stuff like that but you know they're not going to go into great details on that anyways but um, but it does set up uh nicely for the next films uh, some that i did like about it does set up nicely for those but yeah it's just very very much interesting how how they have this dynamic when it comes to the kingdom of the planet of the apes but it's 
is uh, things are going to end up setting up more new ideologies and new uh, thought processes with the apes. I think that's what it's going to end up setting up, and it's I think it's going to be pretty fun going forward. So I'm looking forward to where they're going to take it and how they're going to try to differ from the original and older movies because they already are different. So I'm looking forward to how they, they're going to do that. But yeah, yeah, it's a fun movie. Uh, it was interesting. I do think people should go and watch it. Um, if you have time, <laughs> time in the day, go ahead and watch it. Very, very much interesting. So yeah um, but that's my non-spoiler i try to do these uh once a week um usually if i don't then i didn't go to the movies that weekend but um if y'all like to hear more reviews especially on stuff that's not ha that didn't happen during the weekend but other films that happened in the past but were only in the theaters for a little bit like arcadian uh i would do a movie review on that one if you would like but yeah i've mostly been doing just stuff that just happened on the past weekends but thank you all so much Jumping on to give me a chart, really do appreciate it. Please do take care of yourselves and each other. Peace, geekdom.